Hey guys, it's Funky from Rock Paper Copy. In this video, I want to talk to you about smart little tool I use when sending emails to avoid a spam filter. So this is really handy if you're sending hundreds of emails like newsletters, so you can use it and send the newsletters from your Gmail account without paying for MailChimp or Klaviyo or any other of those services, and also avoid the risk of your emails landing in the spam folder. Welcome to Rock Paper Copy, best place for Shopify store owners to learn about SEO, getting traffic and sales. So this video will show you a free tool to get started because it's free for up to 50 emails if you send up to 50 emails per day. If you send more than that, you will need to pay monthly fee, but it's about $7-$9 per month. So it's a quite manageable amount and definitely cheaper than MailChimp or Klaviyo. So this little add-on is called Gmas. It allows you to send group emails and those emails don't look like they're being sent to more than one person because it looks like the email is being sent personally from you to this particular email address. That's why it's easier for Gmas to avoid the spam filter. You can also use a number of additional features such as sending previous campaigns. So this is quite useful and I find it really useful because when I send the same replies, I can use the previous email and obviously tweak the details, but I don't have to type the same email over and over again. So this is really good for using email templates and I find it incredibly useful. You can also schedule the emails to be sent in three hours, in an hour or any other day. So this is perfect when you want to schedule a newsletter and you can also add unsubscribe link which is obviously useful and it makes you comply with those GDPR regulations but also you can send the follow-up campaign so you can see how many people opened or not opened or clicked not clicked your previous campaign and then send follow-up campaign to this group of people so for example if you see that someone didn't click the link in your previous campaign you can send follow-up email with the same campaign but may maybe different wording or if you see that someone clicked the link but didn't take action for example didn't place an order you can send a follow-up campaign saying what happened can we help with completing your order so this is much more personalized approach than sending cold new campaign to everyone in your subscribers list and in this video I will show you step by step on how to use Gmas how to find it, how to add it to Gmail and all the features you can play with. Okay, so let's go step by step on how to add Gmas to your Gmail account. Obviously, first of all, you need a Gmail account, so you need to create your Google account and then add Gmail. If you're using G Suite, you can add it equally easily because it works the same. It is based on Gmail. So I am using G Suite for my business and it is based on Gmail. And I absolutely love Gmail because it's much more powerful than any professional email address provider that I have been using so there is no limit to how much attachments you can send so on but uh, obviously I'm not going to go into detail when it comes to the Gmail but I'll go through with you on how to get started with Gmail. So Gmail basically it's an add-on to Chrome so you need to be using Chrome browser but usually it's used by the majority of online business owners because obviously it's very versatile it's very powerful so you need to search for Gmail's extension in Google and click on gmas.co then it will go through how to add it so basically you have to click add to Gmail and as you can see it says Gmas requires Chrome it opens in a new window and it opens on the extensions obviously it is simple extension I've already got it installed on my browser but obviously you can add it easily just like any free Chrome extension so just follow the instructions and it is being neatly added to your Chrome now go back to your Gmail account and let's send our free email so you basically send it the same way 
as your normal Gmail account. So if I click Compose, you will be able to see the extra button, Gmas buttons. If you use it, those campaigns will be saved in Gmas database. So if you send it normally, it won't send through Gmas. It will send through Gmail, so it won't be saved. The template won't be saved. But if you send through Gmas, you can save it and you can reuse it if you want. If you click this drop down arrow, this new tab opens. And here you can see the features that you can use. I usually don't use any of those, but you can send a test email, for example, if you're scheduling a newsletter. What I usually use is the templates, so previous templates I have used, how many emails it's been sent to. So, for example, if I'm sending a free audit, I can use the template for that. I just change the details, like the link to the video, obviously I remove it, I change the name as well. And then if I want to save it, I need to send it through Gma, so it will be saved. But I'll go through other elements. So this is unsubscribe link. So so it basically it pastes the unsubscribe link which is very important if you're sending newsletter but it pastes where your mouse pointer was remember that it can be pasted anywhere within the text of the email so you have to position the mouse first for example at the bottom of the email and then use it so let's do it and as you can see it's been pasted here so I'll remove the one from before Okay, let's go through the rest of the features. Then you can personalize, you can track if you want to track opens, how many people opened emails, click emails. In fact, you can do the auto follow up, but I think you have to upgrade. So I'm using the first tier of the payments. I'm not sure if I can actually auto follow up. I haven't really used it, but I do use scheduler. So you can send an email now, you can send an email in one hour and three hours tomorrow morning or in custom date and time. If you want it, you can pause up to five minutes between each email. And I like using it when I'm sending mass newsletters because this will actually help you avoid the spam filter because the spam filter gets triggered if they see hundreds or thousands of emails being sent at exactly the same time. So if you pause between one and five minutes between each email being sent out, it will help you avoid the spam folder. And since you in Gmail, that's why I love it. My emails get much more response because when I was using Klaviyo or MailChimp, the emails were usually landing in a spam folder so people weren't even aware that they received an email from me. But when I was sending normal emails, they were often landing in a spam folder. That's what's really scary to me. You can also repeat a campaign to be sent every day or every hour, or every week or every month. If you want to repeat it, obviously it will be sent to the same audience so this will have to be some kind of a reminder of your regular event so don't keep repeating the same promotional email over and over again because obviously you will get a lot of people that will want to unsubscribe and the main benefit for me in using Gmas is the fact that when I send Gmas obviously through that button, if I use it to a large number of people, the email that they receive looks like it's been sent to only one person. So there's only one person in the to field, only one person in the from field, because if you would be using a regular Gmail account, you would have to use the CC or BCC field, which means that people would be able to see that this email was sent to a large number of people and would lose this personalized feel. So I really, really like personalization when it comes to Gmas. So, okay, so I'm going to close that and I'll show you another cool feature when it comes to Gmas. So with Gmas, you can also follow up on the previous campaign. So if you click this little icon in the middle here, you can now choose a past campaign. You can choose to send emails to people who received any of your previous campaign and send to all of them or send only to people who open, to send only to people who clicked. And what I like about it is I can send to people who didn't open and then send them more personalized emails, the reminder campaign as well. So, so I don't send the same email to people who already opened, but I send the same campaign to people who didn't open 
happen because they might have missed it i didn't send them at the right time they were busy so it's a good idea to remind them if it's the campaign you really want them to know about so simply click compose follow-up and then you can create new campaign or send a previous campaign from the previous template so this is really really cool i really love that and it definitely makes the life easier. What I also like about the Gmail is that in the side panel, you can track the history of your campaign, so how many campaigns were sent, if any of them bounced, so you can remove this email address, otherwise it will trigger Google penalty if there's too many bounce email addresses, how many people clicked, so you can also track the email address that clicked, how many opened, how many replies so you can track the replies as well send copies how many unsubscribed so i like going through that you remove those email addresses from my database so this is really really useful and as i mentioned the pricing is very very accessible let me just go through the pricing now so i go back to gmas and click on pricing so it starts from 8.95 per month i believe it's in us dollars because i'm in the uk you can pay annually or you can pay monthly or pay monthly so this is what i'm using at the moment but you can upgrade to remove the branding but to be honest the gmail branding is so small it's very easy to miss it so it's not a big problem but this is out of follow-up so i don't have this included so i have to do it manually as i mentioned those follow-ups through the button at the top otherwise i cannot really do it automatically but you can schedule and automate the follow-ups with the premium packet the price is still accessible it gives you so much control over your emails and it definitely makes your workload much much easier if newsletters are a big part of your marketing strategy if you send a lot of newsletters and obviously if you're using gmail i do recommend adding it because it is much more convenient and it is much cheaper than using mailchimp or using Clay so let me know are you already using gmas and do you think it would make it easier for you than using regular newsletter platform or do you prefer the convenience of klaviyo let me know if you're going to try it as i mentioned you can try it for free if you send less than 50 emails per day so this is still quite a lot so you can play with it in the beginning so you can see how powerful it is and then you can switch it if you want it to the premium version which is only 8.99 and i believe it is in dollars but i'm not sure it could be in, in the local currency so it could be in my local currency which is british pounds i hope you like the tips received if you did smash the like button now and subscribe to my youtube channel for regular shopify and seo tips and now watch those videos next recommended for you here to learn how to run successful online business and how to drive free traffic i'll speak with you soon Bye bye